Hey guys, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 4.7, Solar Radiation and the Earth's Seasons. So one of the things we have to remember is that um, the Earth has seasons and because there's several factors that play into this. Um, number one is going to be that tilt of the Earth and the, and the fact that um, solar radiation tends to be uneven. Right, so the equator tends to get sunlight pretty much the whole year uh, round, and the northern and the southern hemispheres, depending on where they are, they're going to end up having different seasons. So what we call that is it's something called insulation. That's the incoming solar radiation, which is the main source of all of the energy on Earth, um, and that tilt leads to those seasons because, as I mentioned, um, there's going to be uneven solar radiation coming in, and that angle of that uh, radiation is going to affect areas differently. And of course, this is all going to be tied into what latitude you are on the planet. So the equator is a line of latitude, and then that goes up. So others, other two famous ones would be Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. Um, and so as you move north or south from that equator, um, you're going to get different amounts of insulation, and that's going to uh, lead to different uh, effects. So here we have uh, one example of this. You have what's called the December solstice and the summer solstice, right? So winter and summer solstice. Those are going to be those days where you end up with um, having parts of your day uh, be the most sunlight you're going to get. So that would be like the June solstice on the right. Whereas the December solstice, that winter solstice, is going to be where you have the least amount of light um, during the day. And then you can also have a vernal equinox, right? Um, those equinox, those are the ones where you're going to have days with equal amounts of sunlight. So depending on where you are on the planet, and again, those are all lines of latitude labeled there. The Arctic and Antarctic circles, the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, and of course the equator. And as you can see, no matter where you are, the equator and the tropics are going to get the most sunlight the most part of the year, the most time of the year. So. And so here you can see the different amounts of solar radiation in the uh, different areas of the world and how that relates to biomes. So, you know, as you can see, there's really high amounts of solar radiation towards those middle latitudes and the tropics um, in those spaces there. And then as you get to the, um, and so we'll show you that right here. So if you're looking at these spaces right around uh, here, Okay, so in this space, that's going to be the most solar radiation. So you can see these big quadrants right there. Um, that's going to where they're going to get the sun that's in the middle of the tropics. And then that's going to be less and less as you move further north and south. Um, and of course, most of the land is on the north, so you'll see the biomes up there as they change from more tropical to subtropical to temperate to uh, maybe taigas and, uh, and uh, arctic areas, right? Uh, tundras, so. And as you can see, this also plays a big role. So those green spots are going to be where you see most of the uh, uh, biodiversity and most of the uh, uh, life on the planet. So all those green spots are going to be high intense. So as you can see, the uh, line of latitude, and I'll try to draw a straight line here, it pretty much is pretty even as you go. And so everywhere you see those temperate forests, um, those are going to show pretty much evenly on those lines of latitude, right? So, and if there was more land down here, you might expect there to be a lot more green right around here, right? But that's mostly ocean, so you're not going to see that in a diagram like this. So here's some other resources if you'd like to see how those relate to that solar radiation and biomes, um, as well as uh, the tilt of the earth and how that causes seasons. So hopefully those will be helpful and uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.